Now we are going to start with the topic that is the magnetism. You know that uh, in an earlier uh, times, you know that uh, the, how the magnetism concept uh, came into play. First of all, you would like to know that. You know that in the, uh, we know that the earth has three layers, crust, mental and core. You know that in the core of the earth, that means in the center of the earth, there was a substance found which was able to attract certain substances towards itself. Again, I am repeating, just listen to me carefully. In the core of the earth, you must have studied in the social studies that uh, uh, the earth has three layers, outer is crust, middle one is mantle and the uh, inner one, inner to it is the core. So in the core, uh, I am talking about, there is a substance present, uh, not only that time, present uh, now also, that uh, and that substance could attract certain substances towards itself. And you know that what is the substance actually? The chemical composition of that substance is Fe3O4. The chemical composition of, this, of the, that substance is called as Fe3O4. And if we talk about its common name, it is called as lodestone. It is called as lodestone. And uh, it has a chemical name also as magnetite. As magnetite. So, in the core of the earth, there is a, you can say that there is a substance which could attract certain substances toward itself and that is called as lodestone. From here, the, uh, you can say that uh, concept of magnetism came into, the, came into play. So, it was called as, as it was present naturally in the nature. So, therefore, it is called as natural magnet. It is called as natural magnet magnet. It could attract certain substances towards itself or you can say it is the reason that uh, we say that everything is going to, towards the earth or everything is being attracted by the earth. So, th that attraction is merely due to the in this natural magnet that is the lodestone which is also called as magnetite. So, the, from here the magnetism came into play and then uh, there was a we just uh, the uh, scientists start preparing the artificial magnets or man made magnets. So, I think till now it is clear that what do we mean by magnet? Magnet is a substance which could attract certain substances towards itself. So, magnet is a substance which can attract certain substances toward itself. Not all the substances are being attracted by the magnet. The ones which are being attracted by the magnet are called as magnetic substances. And the one which are not being attracted by the magnet, they are called as non-magnetic substances. As you have, uh, you must have come across many substances which are, uh, which can, uh, uh, which can be attracted by a magnet. For example, if I say I have a mixture of iron and sulphur, let us say this is my mixture, this is sulphur powder, right. And in that there is a chips present of iron, let us say these are the iron chips. So, if I bring magnet toward itself uh, to the, uh, this uh, mixture, then what happened? They get attracted, these blue ones, that means the iron chips get attracted, but sulphur remain unaffected. So, that means there are certain substances which can be attracted by a magnet like this iron chips and they are called as magnetic substances and those which are not being attract, uh, attract they are called as non-magnetic substances like sulphur. So, if we talk about the mixture of iron and sulphur, iron is magnetic and sulphur is non-magnetic, right. So, this you need to know that not every substance is being attracted by the magnet. There are few substances which, which, uh, which a magnet can attract and there are certain substances which remain unaffected. So, this is what is the magnetic and non-magnetic um, substances. So, like uh, with the advancement that uh, uh, a magnet was known, so as I told you that the people start preparing artificial magnet, not all uh, common people, I am talking about the scientists or uh, they start making a man-made magnets. So, artificial magnets were made of, made, uh, of different shapes. Out of that, the common one is a bar magnet. Out of that, a common one is a bar magnet. So, if somebody asks you about bar magnet, you need to say that it is rectangular piece of magnet. It is rectangular piece of magnet and how you are going to show it by figure? Just by drawing a rectangle. So, this is a bar magnet. Likewise, another shape magnet was also made. 
that is the horseshoe magnet that is the horse shoe magnet and what is the shape for it it is u shaped it is u shaped and if we draw its shape it is like this like this so this is the horseshoe shaped magnet likewise the magnetic compass likewise the magnetic compass came into play now we have uh, magnetic devices like magnetic compass we have magnetic needle you must have seen all these things magnetic compass is a small uh, compass which is pivot uh, which has a pointer which is pointed from the center and it is just free to rotate and the pointer like i'll draw the figure for that also magnetic compass looks like this there is a pointer it is pivoted from center like this it is pivoted from center and this is free to move so it just indicates and there the, even the directions are mentioned in it and they just rotate and give the uh, magnetic deflections likewise we have a magnetic needle it is like this again pivoted from center it it is present like this and even it is free to show the deflection so these are certain magnetic substances which came into play and all all of them came into play just after the discovery of the lodestone after the uh, not the discovery is the current discovery is not a correct name as it was already present in the core but it was the you can say at that time people came to know about it right so this is the lodestone which gave rise to a magnetic concept and from a magnetic concept we just derived artificial magnets that is the man made magnets now there are certain facts about magnet there are certain facts about magnet now let's say see that what are those facts first fact is that suppose you take a magnet and you just tie a thread with it so suppose i have a magnet i just uh, tie a thread and i just uh, which is or you can say a freely suspended magnet a freely suspended magnet suppose this is my magnet so when i freely suspend it freely suspend means i'm just tying a thread here like this and this is my thread let's say so when this magnet will come at rest we'll see that the same side uh, come at the same time it means the same side face the same geographic uh, poles so the side that face towards no geographic north the side that face towards geographic north is called as north pole and the one which face towards the geographic south is called as south pole so that means a freely suspended magnet always align in a north south direction we say that a freely suspended magnet always align in north south direction right and the second important fact is that that magnet always exist as a dipole uh, or you can say that uh, magnet always possess two poles that is the north and the south pole or we will say that dipole exist in it dipole di means two so two poles always exist in a magnet one is north pole other is south pole likewise you know that we cannot separate two poles we cannot separate two poles so this is the third fact that two poles can never be separated two poles can never be separated so let's see how suppose i have a magnet in which i have north and south pole let's say that we cut this magnet from the middle like this so what happened you think that it is divided into two pieces one with north polarity another with south polarity it is lacking the south one and it is lacking the north pole uh, north uh, pole but it's not like that the point from where you cut that automatically derives the another pole which is the missing pole even in a small you know even in a very 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 minute piece of magnet there also there exists a north pole and a south pole so that means two pole can never be separated two poles can never be separated the fourth thing is that like poles always repel and opposite poles always attract suppose 
you have a, a two magnets we have two magnets let's say north and south the other also possessing the north and the south so if you try to bring this magnet near to this magnet it will show a repulsive force it it will just show a repulsion because here north pole and north pole will try to face each other and which is not possible as i told you same poles repel each other right so they will start repelling but if you have this kind of thing north and south pole and you bring a magnet with opposite poles so they are just going to come closer because there will be an attractive force so we say that like poles repel each other and opposite poles start approaching each other because they attract each other so these are the important facts about the magnet moreover uh, you must have seen that suppose you keep a magnet like this suppose this is my magnet and i try to bring a iron piece towards it suppose this is my magnet and i try to uh, bring a iron piece towards it so let's say that my iron piece is at this place so we see that there is no attractive force or no repulsive force let's say this is point a so we say that at point a there is no attraction or repulsion shown by the iron piece let us start moving towards the magnet we'll see that suppose i move it to point b suppose i move it to point b so at point b i'm just feeling that my hand is just going towards the magnet so it's not my hand actually it is the attractive force which is just uh, pulling the iron object toward itself and that pulling force comes from the magnet so as you'll say that uh, like if i say that in this case that the though the uh, this thing the piece is not uh, joint with the or you, you can say the piece is not close to the uh, this thing the magnet but still we can feel that attractive force you know that why it's so it is because whenever you keep a magnet it develops a small area around it whenever you keep a magnet it develops a small area around it it's not too big area just a small field you'll say that where the um, magnetic effect can be felt and that field is called as magnetic field that field is called as magnetic field so what is magnetic field i'm just going to write here magnetic field is a small area around magnet where its effect can be felt that effect is not always going to be attractive suppose i have the mag i have magnet and i try to bring in another magnet into this field and the uh, same poles are just facing each other so when i am not uh, when i am not moving that magnet very close to the other given magnet st still that suppose i take a magnet here and i try to enter that magnet into this field from this side so as you can out बहुत टच हो गया कंच लगा है नहीं गरम गरम लगा कंच है हमारी कंच नहीं गरम गरम चिंगारी सी लगी है अभी भी लग रही है नीचे से थोड़ा सा आटा मंगवा के लगवा लो हां कैमरा बंद कर दिया 